So after doing that piecemeal top video, a lot of guys didn't like that I was piecing wood together. Want to know how I'm buying quilted maple. These are some outstanding pieces that I got years ago that I've been sitting on. This is a 5A piece of quilted maple. Got some beautiful figure in here, really deep quilt. But it doesn't run through the whole body. So you can see already I get a lot of run out. So probably the first quarter inch top off of this will look great. And then as I cut down into the wood, it won't look as good. You can see it starts to run out here. So what I'd have to do is cut this up, resaw it, and see what happens. It's a nice two inch thick top, so I could probably get a couple quarter inch tops here. But this is what they call 5A, at least on the front. Nice thick quilt, consistent across the whole piece. Definitely will have some nice wood coming out of this. And then this is a really weird quilted maple piece I got years ago. It's got some, I don't know, I don't know what type of quilt this is, but it looks like pieces of flame. But I know it's big leaf maple. We'll go on eBay here today and we'll scroll through some listings and see what they got. And let's pick out a, a nice piece of quilt and we'll show you that here. All right, so we went on eBay and we searched quilted maple. And we'll take a look at some of these pieces. This piece here has run out. You can see it's not quilted the full, full way through. We'll open that piece. This piece is very similar, has that run out. We'll open this one. Take a look at this one as well. This one looks interesting. Let's see what pieces they have here. Some look good, some don't. I, I usually like doing buy it now versus bidding because then you just lose it. And there's a couple nice pieces here we'll take a look at. So on this first piece, looks really nice. has really heavy figure in the center there, real deep lines. Backside doesn't look as good, but the Front side has some really nice pieces right in the center there. So I'm just comparing and looking at, I really like that deep quilt. Check the size. Piece looks nice. This one is, is expensive and the quilt isn't as deep, so it's got a little bit more quilting, but the lines aren't as heavy. I'm not sure I like that. It's a little bit more expensive. And I really like the the heavy, where you, you get that real heavy line. I think that's what, what turns out nicely. And this one has, again, that same heavy line uh, within the quilt. Just beautiful grain, beautiful, beautiful figuring. It's the right size. And this one, I guess, is okay. But again, the quilting is lighter, so it's a little bit more consistent. It's got that sausage look. A nice wide board, 10 inches. It needs to be resawed. And I just want to get a piece that I can drop on. I don't think I want to do any resawing here. I'm not really sure where that cutout comes from when I'm looking at this wood here. Though. I don't like those knots in the center. I'm not sure where that cutout was. This piece is, is nice here. I, I do like that, but again, it's a buy it now. So this one does look good with that heavy quilting in the center. I do think this first piece is the best piece. We'll go ahead and just flip through these, make sure I've got the right piece. We'll go ahead and uh, make an offer. Usually I could do 10 to 20 bucks below, see if it if takes it. There it is, $140 top. All right, so let's see what we got here. Nicely packaged. 
wrapped up in cardboard so it doesn't dent and then taped together so it doesn't move nice job I have to figure out where it's taped. There we go. All right, so we got the tape off here. Definitely a beautiful piece of wood. It's nice and dry, nice and straight. Got a nice mark where the book mat should be. This is definitely the prettier side of the piece. You can see how deep that figuring is and so as I was playing with the piece here the body will look better here I've got more figure versus if I flip this around definitely run out here so grain runs out here while the figure runs out so what I'll do for this guitar is place the body here I'll get as much of this figure as I can lose some of the top and this will be an outstanding piece of wood you can tell the wood was nicely dry it's been surface sanded so I'll have to take out some of these sanding lines I'll run an edge here glue it together and that's how you buy a quilted maple top